everybody. My name is Carla Mali and welcome to my very first podcast episode ever. You might be wondering, Carl, why did you start a podcast? It's something that I've always been meaning to do for a couple of years now, just because I believe that in this format, I'll be able to explore more the ideas that I'm already talking about in the Clarity Project. In the Clarity Project, I already do blogs, I already do videos, video essays, short form videos, articles, Instagram carousels, visual essays, all sorts of good stuff. Now, the idea of a podcast is something that I've already been doing to some degree with my Twitter account, which is now called X. And I've been doing this sort of podcast-esque type of content with its feature, which is Twitter Spaces. In Twitter Spaces, that is a feature on Twitter where you could go live or do live streams, but with audio only. And with that, I've been able to do a couple of episodes of me trying to read some of the notes that have been taken as a college student at that time. It really just started off as an idea of me bringing to life the philosophy of what I think taking notes is. So basically, taking notes is a two-step process. The first step is that you take down notes, which is the actual activity of you writing down something, of putting pen to paper, of the ideas that you gathered around or wherever else you found those ideas from. And the second step to taking notes is actually rereading the notes, of looking at your notes again, rereading them and learning something from them, which I think most people forget. They think that taking down notes is just simply the activity or the action of you taking down notes without actually reflecting on the notes afterwards. Now, in this notebook is all of the notes that I took from late third year college all the way to graduation in fourth year. So I've started taking notes and there's a date here since September of 2022 and now it's November 2023. So I've been taking notes for more over a year now. So what I would do in those Twitter Spaces sessions is that I would take this notes, this notebook, and I would read some of the notes here that are written down. And for me to be able to have a little bit of accountability and to actually reflecting on the notes, I would go live and I would do live streams. I would do these Twitter Spaces and I would read some notes. But not only would I read the notes, I would actually reflect on the notes real time. And so the audience, the people that are tuning in, if they do get to tune in to the Twitter spaces, they would be able to see my thought process in real time on what I think in terms of the reflection that I was able to derive from those notes. There's going to be around like two formats that I want to be able to have with this podcast of mine. So one is the kind of format that you're listening or tuning in right now, which is the pre-recorded format. In the pre-recorded format, I'll be able to splice it up. I'll be able to cut it up, edit it up and put the necessary visual aids that is required for me to be able to tell the story or to be able to explain the concept better. Now, it is good on that part because I'll be able to get rid of the chunk that you don't need to hear, making the whole experience more compact and more concise and so that I don't waste too much of your time. The other format is the live stream format. And in the live stream format for now, I'd be able to live stream with one of my social media for now. It's Instagram and pr probably in the future, be able to expand to other social medias. And what I love about live streams is that even though the disadvantage of it, the obvious disadvantage of it is that it's going to be long winded. It's going to be longer than what it's supposed to be just because of the live stream format. And there's also going to be a lot of mistakes and there's going to be a lot of buckles. You're going to be able to see a lot of awkward silences of me stumbling on my words. All of these mistakes, which could have been cut it out if it, if it is a pre-recorded podcast episode, is now going to be seen. So it's going to be a much more raw experience. And with this much more raw experience, it is also supplemented by the fact that it is well, live. And in the live, I'd be able to interact real time with the audience and what they think about the podcast, the things that they want to ask me real time, or the things that they have comments in. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you're ready, I'll see you in the next episode.